everyone, this is Lightstar, and we're back for my fall 2017 Oracle Consciousness reading. And I'm a little delayed in doing this one only because I've had a lot going on, as we all have. And, uh, but I also caught a, a little bit of a cold and it was keeping my, my nose sounding very nasal-like and so I didn't want to uh, do that until that had completed its course. So I'm back now and I want to talk about the fall. But before we talk about the fall, I just want to recap a little bit about the summer that we just had, which was literally on fire, right? There was so much going on from the energetics, the cosmos, the waves, the energy, and also the astrology that was happening, the huge total solar eclipse that we had, which I, you can actually uh, look at my, my previous video, which was talking about the solar eclipse and the energies of the solar eclipse and what was happening. So it's really a, a fascinating time. And now we're on the other side of the eclipse and right on the flip side of the eclipse, what have we seen happen? The world is changing. There's a lot of uh, chaos happening, and we see the, from the hurricanes to the earthquakes to all that stuff. So I want to cover this in a, in a little bit of what's happening. What are the energies happening that are coming into our time period now and in the fall? Because we had a strong energetic uh, push towards, in this summer, towards coming out of our shells, to becoming more out in the open to who we are and to stepping forward out of that fear-based thinking and into more of ourselves and our ingenuity and to our genuineness, our soul that was stepping forth. Now, that's not always the easiest process. Sometimes we go through a bit of struggle in trying to figure out who we are, why we're here, what we're supposed to be doing, and how to get along with others. Quite frankly, we've been trying to do this for centuries, if not eons, of time. And it can be a struggle sometimes. So today we're gonna to talk about the fall and what we're transitioning into in terms of the energies. And as usual, I always like to consult with my Magical Dimensions Oracle cards the My Own Creation, which you can purchase on my website at lightstarcreations.com. You can go there and purchase the deck yourself. But I'm gonna actually talk about the energetics of the fall in relation to what the cards, which are very uh, good with the energies of what's happening. So I first wanted to look at what we were a bit more moving out of, if you would say. Um, in, in that type of way of coming out of the, the energies of the summer. And so let's look at what we're coming out of. And I'm gonna, there's two cards that are gonna relate to this same time frame. Now, the manifestation card comes up when I'm talking about what we're moving a little bit more out of from the summer. And what I'm feeling this is relating to, and I'll read the, the words on the bottom here. The title is Manifestation, and it's Prosperity, Fortune, and Pure Intentions. But what I feel this is getting to is that we've had and have and are still having the issues coming up surrounding money and finances and our world. Now, let's face it, our world is definitely has been going into kind of a a very trying times in our economy and in our own personal lives. There's been a lot of struggle around money, meaning uh, having it, not having it, the lack of too much of it, you know, which actually does happen. There's there are all sorts of issues and challenges that come that stem from the issues around money. So. And in relation to having too much money, what happens when some people have too much money and they don't know what to do with it and they lose themselves and they actually go into a place of either uh, hoarding or that miserly status where they become very selfish with it or they just literally cannot manage it and it becomes very stressful, way too stressful for them to manage and they have uh, health issues because of it. But I do feel that this is something that, again, is in the position of us 
moving out of some of these issues. I'm not saying that this will never happen. You won't have any more issues with money. None of that stuff's going to happen. But the bulk of it that we have kind of traversed in our own spiritual life has been the way to handle money, dealing with money, what money really means as pure energy. It's an energy. Tangible money doesn't really have a meaning to it. It's just that we associate the meaning of that money, that paper or that coin into what is that, what that really means for us. So, and that can mean across the board with what it means for individually, but I do, you individually, but I do feel as a whole in the consciousness realm, we are kind of moving out of some, not all, but some of the issues having to do with money. They're still going to be there, but I feel a lot of us are actually gaining strides and having a more uh, well-rounded consciousness about what money is, is and what it means to have it and what it means to uh, give it, to be giving with your money and to be giving with the fortunes that you have within you. So not only is this relating to the money, tangible money, but it is that inner fortune that we are figuring out what to do with and how to uh, work with our inner fortunes and how to express ourselves from that deep place. So I feel like this is, uh, in a way, we're actually accumulating money, we're um, accumulating the energies of money and how to work with it and what to do with it. And that money is really not the most important thing in this world, is it? It seems like it is, but we realize that money isn't everything. Money doesn't buy you happiness. So there are some things that you can do with it for sure. And it makes that, but it, in that, that old saying of money makes the world go round. No, it doesn't. It really doesn't. And that's what we're starting to learn and really get that inner spirit makes the world go round, not money. So in the heels of that, we have the beautiful majestic eminence. This is my, one of my favorite cards in the deck and it's actually it keeps coming up. Uh, it came up in the last reading when I was talking about the uh, energies of the eclipse and it's coming up again because we're actually on the tail end of that and I believe this came up in the end of the reading as well. So majestic eminence, which is priestess, divine feminine and worth. So it's in the position of what we are moving out of because we just came into a big wave of the divine feminine, not saying that divine feminine is going off the planet either, like it came and went. What I'm saying is that this divine feminine energy is a presence that all of us have been feeling and integrating and learning how to come from that place of love, of inner worth and divinity from that female perspective. So we're getting doses of that on the planet. We have been and we were asked to step into those more divine feminine, not so aggressive energies. And this will continue to come in, I believe, throughout this whole time period. It's just that we've been in it, it has been there, and now I feel we're also going to be stepping forward into this, even though a little bit of it's kind of moving out for us to kind of have a little bit more place in our life for something else for something new, for something tangible and genuine and real in our own inner worlds for, uh, and also for the consciousness, for our planet to be more loving, to be more forgiving, to be more uh, inclusive with others, to gather together, to be together, to honor each other. And that as a consciousness level is growing stronger and we are moving into that uh, type of energy. So now I'm going to look at what is coming up and we get inspirational creation. And this is alchemy, the elements and innovation. Uh, I love this card because it actually encompasses a lot, but I want to say the creative forces, creativity, moving forward, creative ideas, solutions, on, our con on the consciousness level on how to solve problems. 
big problems, not just small ones, but the big ones. So I feel we're getting this sort of energy of creating an energy of solutions and, and innovations. Now, on the other side to this, I'm also feeling this also symbolizes the energies of the Mother Earth and the energies of what is going on on Gaia and the energies of she might be flaring up just a bit because the energy frequency is moving to that higher level and it's, it's actually causing some of the uh, energies of the earth, disruptions of the earth to make it well known in our, our everyday life. So we're starting to feel the effects of mother earth going through the consciousness and going through the awakening stages and the shifting and the changing where you're also seeing that creative life force coming out. It's like the inner fire. So if you want to look at it that way, our inner consciousness is on fire right now and we'll be coming into a place of being on fire. It's like the, the dragon that is coming forth in the consciousness of our energy and it's coming forth with fire. And that's a, that's a good thing because things kind of needed to come to the surface, perhaps, in your life. So there's a twofold meaning to this card. So it's innovative, it's creative, and that life force that is coming to and on and from the planet in our, in our consciousness and in our inner worlds. Now, that is also bringing up another card that came up in the last reading too, which is emergence. And emergence is creation, resurrection, and the magician. So we're seeing this creative life force energy of the dragon, of the, the you know, fire within, and it's going to be creating a pathway of some new. So what happens when we have to create, when we want to create the new? We have to allow the old to be washed away. So some of the things that will be sort of ending in order for the new beginnings to take hold, to have a place to be able to be on this planet, will some of that won't come until we need to pave the way for some of the old to go away. So we're in that building ourselves anew, resurrecting anew. And so some of the doom and gloom type of energies that are uh, out there and the predictions and things of that nature that the world's gonna end, you know, especially coming up, that I want to just say, let's not move into the fear-based thinking, okay? No one truly knows everything that is going to happen, no matter what anybody says. So, live your life as if it were your last. You know that saying? I mean, it's really true. If you were to die in a plane crash tomorrow or in a car crash tomorrow, which is probably more likely than a plane crash, if you were to die tomorrow, what in your life would you have wanted to do that you didn't do? What would you have wanted to say that you didn't say? How would you have want your life, how would you have wanted to live in a way that you didn't live? And do those things now, because now is the time. We don't know how long we're all gonna be here. Nobody does, really. There's predictions out there, sure. And some of them are very accurate. But the fact of the matter is, we are recreating our world here and now. And recreating means it gets messy. It does. It is going to look messy. And it's not going to look pretty all the time. So just know that you're here and now in this moment. Live your life. Create like the magician of what you want in your life now. Don't put it off. Do it now. And it's not to say you're not going to have any opportunities or anything like that. We're just saying, let's live our life now and in the moment and not put those things off because of fear. We're supposed to be moving out of the fear anyway. So let's not focus our attention so much on what isn't going to be there anymore and focus on what is here in the here and now. So very important of what's coming up. And then I sort of projected a little bit and also energies of, of what, are we, what are we looking at a little bit down the ways when we're coming into this fall period. So we get the throat portal. 
This is one of the cards in my deck that is of the chakra energies. And it is throat portal, which is speak your truth, courage, and suppression, which is the opposite of what the uh, positive aspects of the throat chakra. I like to call them portals because our chakras are portals to me. But energetically speaking, it relates to the chakra energy. And throat is what? The throat is your ability to speak your truth, to speak through the divine energy that comes forth. And that is truly what we are here doing on this planet. We are speaking and we are honoring who we are. We're honoring our bodies. We're honoring our speech, what we say and how we say it. And if you look at this as on the consciousness level, a totality level here, we're actually, we're actually in the process of truth. We're in the process of truth being exposed as we see everywhere around us. There are discoveries, there's new things, there's disclosure. It's all about truth now. It is all about truth. It is all about who we are and coming from that place of love and the truth of what is. Now truth can be a little different for everybody, but there are some things that are literally hidden from us that are going to be coming out into the open even stronger. And there may be more people wanting to speak out, wanting to speak up, feeling like they just can't hold it in any longer, nor that you shouldn't hold that in. And so the suppression energies will begin to rise and come to the surface. And so there will be more outspoken and there will be more people that are just in the, in the hidden away speaking out and speaking their truth and feeling like they want to speak up. So overall, this is also requiring courage on your part it is requiring you to step up and to truly step in to your own power of who you are and speaking from that place of the divine creator within you having a voice. And on the other side of that, we see the energies of the third eye, which is another chakra. So we've got two uh, energetic consciousness uh, portals or chakras coming up in the, in the uh, future positions here. And this is vision, clairvoyance, and clarity, and confusion, which would be the flip side of that. So when we're looking at this, we are also seeing the vision of your life, the vision of our life as a whole here. What do we want? And we're, we're seeing that there may be some confusion and some scattered you know, type of thinking that we need to change. We need to shift the, the belief systems out of the limitation and into the limitless thinking. So ultimately, that's what it is on the consciousness level, is raising our frequencies up to that higher vision of who we are, what we're doing here, and what we are here to create and manifest, and doing this with a clear mind and not such a confusing mind where our thoughts are scattered all over and we have no sense of focus. So we're coming, we're needing to address the, air, the, uh, the areas of focus, grounded vision, taking your visions and having them have a place and having them have focus and, and not be all scattered. So for those of you that have, you know, 50 different projects out in the, the mental space, you might need to gather some of those, focus it down and file, Focus on your intention of what you want to create and vision what you want to create and have that be coming forth with a sense of really strong clarity because our thoughts, we hear that our thoughts create our reality. Well, now's the time we're really going to have a lot more emphasis on that. We're going to see this happening and we're going to see how this is manifesting. So whatever you're thinking, if you're thinking create, uh, creative thoughts, beautiful, loving, positive thoughts, you're probably going to create that in your world as well as in our world. So we need more people to manifest that instead of focusing on the negative and the lack and the fear base and the scattered and the craziness thinking that isn't even, you know, really helping you in any way, shape or form with the negative thoughts because that is what you're creating. Ultimately, we are seeing this uh, thought processes, telepathy increasing from the mind so much that this is becoming a reality. So this is the focus. 
So looking at this, I also wanted to bring sort of an overall card that would uh, help to give us some overall energies. And we get the guardians. And the guardians is shielding, defense, and warning. So sometimes this is the card that comes up that actually is helping us to uh, shield our energies, to be aware in our personal lives as well as the consciousness level that sometimes we do need to uh, shield ourselves. Sometimes we have to have some boundaries. Sometimes, you know, we're not uh, taking care of ourselves as best we need to, to help to ground that energy in. And in an overall sense, it's also of warnings of things to come. So there are some things that are going to be coming up in our world that we want to be aware of. We, it's like the warning of things to be aware of. And not that you have to know everything, not that you have to prepare for uh, every possible disaster and crazy thing that's going to happen, but it is telling you to become more aware of, uh, especially of what your intuition is telling you. Sometimes you may feel like your intuition is actually uh, telling you you need to take a, a break, you need to kind of go within, or you need to take care of yourself, or you need something's coming up, so brace yourself. In other words, brace yourself emotionally, not that you can totally prepare for those things, but just becoming aware of you may need some extra support for yourself of something that's coming in the future. So in the way of the, the consciousness, this definitely, since we've been seeing so many things happening right now with all of the earth changes, there are probably going to be some more things happening with that. Just saying. There's probably gonna be some things coming up that we're not totally prepared for, but that we need to shield and protect ourselves. I don't like that word protect, shielding is better. But in all intensive purposes, we're actually having to do some overall guarding of our energies and you know that's just what is so just being prepared as best you can bracing yourself and also giving uh time for yourself to emotionally feel safe everything's going to be okay you're going to be in the in the right places at the places you need to be um all for all the people that are out in the uh, florida region and also all of the regions that are in the hurricane that are just being demolished by the hurricane. We want you to take care of yourselves, take shelter where you need to take shelter, okay? Things are things, and I understand that when we lose things, it can be very devastating for us, our homes, our belongings, but please, if I can urge anyone, take care of your self in terms and your family and the lives of people is much more important than things. We don't take things with us to the next realm. Okay. So that shows you how of the lack of importance that those things are, you know, life is important. And so we want you to take safety precautions. We want you to, you know, do what you need to do to take care of what you need to take care of and let the rest up to spirit because you know, that's what we're dealing with right now is, is having to deal with a lot of catastrophes and a lot of challenges that we haven't had to face in past times. So knowing that if you have lost some things and you have lost the things, but you're still have your, your life, which is like, you can rebuild, you can start over, you can, it's not easy. We're not saying it's easy, but please honor your life as well that's most important and know that you have the support you have places that can support you and everybody is in your corner and we're all sending love and we're all sending light and we're all sending support and guidance as best we can to help so in the in the genre of all of this this may be a very challenging time it's also a very exciting time but yes challenges to come but bracing yourself and knowing that you can get through all of this, some of this stuff's going to uh, be moving out of, our, out of our, our path for us to kind of uh, move into some new things and new experiences. Our soul is here to experience. That's all it wants to do. So whether you attribute something good or bad to that experience is going to be up to you. Totally your perception. And that can make the difference between 
uh, being happy in your life and being miserable in your life. So choose the path that allows you to see everything in your life that happens from a place of a higher perspective. So that's it for the Oracle Consciousness reading for the fall. Thank you guys for watching. If you'd like to work with me further and uh, do starseed alignment sessions and my readings, or you'd like to go check out all of my awesome artwork and all the things I have to offer, please check out my website on lightstarcreations.com. And if you like what I have to provide here, subscribe to my YouTube channel here. And also you can uh, go on to my Facebook page or uh, my website and uh, check out all the good stuff there and how to reach me and how to get a hold of me if you'd like to work with me further. So having said that, I send you guys all love and sending the, the brightest light that I can send out there for all of your hearts and all of your souls. And as I love to do always and always is sending love from the galactics, the angelics, and the elementals. Love you guys and I'll talk to you soon. Bye now.